Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with my open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose, because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we approach the end of our liturgical year, our readings continue to exemplify and continue to make a point of reminding us of the importance of preparing ourselves for Christ's coming. And today in our gospel, as we hear Jesus entering into the temple area, he finds that the temple area, the place of prayer, has been cluttered and filled with people who are selling things, people who are making a fortune for themselves and not connecting to God. And Jesus, in his ministry, proceeds to clear out all those who are profaning the house of God. As we continue to reflect on the lessons, on the, on the reminders that the reading gives to us of preparing ourselves for Christ's coming, we recognize that one of the many steps that we are called to do in preparing ourselves for Christ's coming is clearing out those things in our hearts that profane our relationship with God. 
those things that clutter our connection with Him. Whether it be our own personal priorities, our own personal desires that contrast and go against the desires that the Lord has for us. Whatever those things are that can keep us away from God, we are called to clear them away from our hearts. So in order to help us and to facilitate our pre preparation to enter into Christ's kingdom when he comes again. As we approach the end of our liturgical season and prepare in just over a week to enter into the season of Advent, we will continue to hear these words of being watchful, of the preparation, of being prepared, but also recognizing how we are called to prepare by clearing away those things that keep us away from God, clearing away those things that clutter our view of our Lord in our everyday lives. And as we let go of our selfish desires, as we let go of our own personal intentions, as we let go of the things that take place of the Lord in our hearts, we are invited to place the Lord back as the center of our life, to prioritize our relationship with Him once again, through the reception, the spiritual reception of our Lord here in this sacrament of the Eucharist, and to grow stronger, more committed, more dedicated in our life of faith every day. And so as we once again reflect the words of Scripture, which invite us to look inside of ourselves and to clear out the clutter of our spiritual lives, let us pray for that gift of perseverance, that gift of dedication, so that we may always commit to clearing those things that keep us away from God, and instead bring in those things that allow us to remain committed to Him always. So drawing on our faith and our loving God, we bring to Him our prayers and our petitions today. And so we pray for our church. May we always free ourselves of those things that keep us away from our Lord and bring ourselves to good habits and practices that allow us to remain committed in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for our nation. May we embrace every opportunity to be examples of peace and, and unity by being examples of understanding and compassion to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all of our nurses, all of our doctors, all of our healthcare workers, that they may continue to be kept safe in the midst of their ministry of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our seminarians who are studying and discerning the priesthood at St. John Seminary, the Queen of Angels House of Formation. May their hearts always be kept open to the presence of God in their life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, all those who are struggling with or recovering from any kind of illness. May the Lord give them strength and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they come to share in the gift of God's eternal reward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today for the needs and intentions of Carol Barone, the needs and intentions of Mike and Erica Spicer and family for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the quiet of our hearts have spoken aloud wherever we are. We bring to our God our own prayers and petitions today. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-loving God, you have called us to clear those things that keep us away from you. Listen, we pray that the prayers we bring before you as we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the dear from work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may attain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you. And with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
will never reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. The peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.